Welcome back to Sportsbit Betting Insight today. Teddy covers here, and I'm joined once again by Mark Lawrence from Playbook.com. Mark, Teddy, as always, my pleasure. Nice to be with you on Sportsbit. So, we did a segment earlier talking about your history, talking about some theories. Forget all that today. Okay. We, we got to talk teams. It's 2017. I know the audience out there, they want picks and predictions. So, let's talk college football. College football is great. I love college football. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start talking about some teams that we want to bet on and teams that we want to bet against. Let's look with your number one bet on team. My number one bet football. on team, uh, I'm going to give you a co number one if I can. Okay? Sure, please. All right, number one team that I'm really excited about this year are the Wyoming Cowboys, okay? Uh, number one, we all love Josh. Let e me stop for yes. a minute. Awesome, because no one's talking about the Wyoming Cowboys. Okay. I've heard 400 people talk about college football. You're the first guy to talk about Wyoming. Good. Tell me. Good. We all know about Josh Allen, the quarterback. We know Craig Bowl, the head coach. What I really like about this football team is two things. Number one, they played, started more freshmen than any team in college football last year, okay? Mm -hmm. That freshman experience really rolls over the next year. They become a very highly experienced football team. Mm -hmm. Number two, they hired a new defensive coordinator this year. His defensive coordinator was the head coach at North Dakota State when Craig Bowl won the FCS championship at North Dakota State. He was also his defensive coordinator there. That was the Carson Wentz team. So now all of a sudden they're all reunited. Okay, so you've got Bowl with his defensive coordinator. You've got Josh Allen. You've got all these freshmen that have this experience and they're eager to play. This is a football team to watch this year. Sure, and certainly I remember when Bowl got hired and I had a couple of people who always opinions I take very, very seriously said, watch this guy, watch this coach. This team's going to go somewhere. And last year, certainly Wyoming, team that didn't really have a whole lot of expectations coming to the campaign. You know, they weren't so bad when all was said and done. You said you had co number ones. Give me another bet on team. Well, another bet on team I'm going to look at this year, and this is a little uncharacteristic for me because I, re I usually like defensive teams, but I'm going to go two offensive teams this year. The other one's going to be the Oregon Ducks out of the Pac-12 conference. And the reason I'm going to the Oregon Ducks is, number one, the hire of defensive coordinator Jim Levitt, okay? I think it was a great hire. This, this team needs defense like Blood. Okay. <laughs> like we know that. Business, okay. yeah. We know that too. <laughs> Number two, Willie Taggart, the new head coach. Okay, the offense is not going to miss a beat. They were down a little bit last year, but Willie Taggart at USF last year, last two years, his teams have scored 30 or more points 16 games in a row. That's tops in college football. This offense is going to hit on all cylinders right out of the gate with a new defensive coordinator, and they're a mission team. Okay, a team that tasted a losing season last year after having all the success, and they still got the recruits in place that were there into this losing season last year. I think Oregon's a sleeper team in the Pac-12. I like them to light it up this year. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. And the one thing with Tagger, you talk about his success at USF, and that came right from the get-go. Yes. His success at Western Kentucky, right, right from the, the get-go. Get the first year he was there, Great points. that program was better. And of course, he is also a Pac-12 guy, having been uh, serving under Jim Harbaugh at Stanford uh, in his formative coaching years. So we've got two bet on teams. Yes. Give me some bet against. Come on, who do I want my money against? Well, bet against teams are a little bit more difficult because you're basically saying this team is going to really sour out this football season here. So a lot of what you're looking at to start the equation is, you know, who played phony last year? You know, what football team won games that perhaps they shouldn't have won? Uh, if, if there's any number one team for me, and I'm doing this through my mind as I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> uh, they're, they're a football team that I, I'm going to play against Penn State this year, okay? Sure. And I'm going to do it largely because of what happened last year, okay? Mm -hmm. A regression to the mean, if you will, if, uh, uh, no, uh, that way. Also, it was a, like a snowball going downhill, an avalanche for that team last year, okay? They did nothing wrong all the way to the, uh, to the college bowl game, okay? Sure. And it was a shootout, you know, and they could have won that, that game as well. And they I covered the number as a dog. They covered the number as a dog, right? Cover. They're bringing a lot of people back this year, so the combination of the success last year, the people they're bringing back, everybody loves Penn State this year. I'm going to fade them. I wouldn't argue with that one iota. Week one, real quick, anything you like, anything you don't like, give us a pick for week one. Well, we, week number, we're going to go to the short week in the week one, okay? Sure. You know, the short week. Yeah, the there's, first five games. Yeah, there, there, there's not a lot of football games there, but we talked about it at the conference here, and this is kind of a hold your nose, kind of a big ugly dog kind of a play, but you've got Stanford is playing Southern Cal in week number two, mm -hmm. okay? They're opening up in Australia, laying 31 points mm -hmm. <laughs> with, with their biggest, arguably their biggest game of the season on deck the next year. David Bailiff needs 
to win these football games to save his job. In the okay? worst way. Sure. Right. Now this game's got, you know, this game's got like 48 to 2 written all over it. Mm -hmm. But I think the situation's right for Rice this football season here because one, you've got a coach with his back to the wall on the hot seat, and two, you've got Stanford looking ahead to their biggest game of the season here, laying 30 points on a neutral field, miles and miles away from home here. I'm going to hold my nose, get the clothespin out, and play Rice. And let me just ask you this: Do you think Rice is better to bet? Would it be better to bet them now? Or better to wait until closer to kickoff? I think wait till closer to kickoff because there's not a lot of people that are going to really come out shooting with rice early on in their football game. Great information from Mark Lawrence right here on Sportsbit Betting Inside today. Mark, thank you so much for your college football analysis. My pleasure, Teddy. Look forward to seeing you more on Sportsbit down the road. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.